Here in this video we will showcase and discuss about the Mythosaur that appeared in the third season of The Mandalorian as well as seven other gigantic monsters in the series, including the new ones in the latest season. Let's get into it. So let's start with the Mythosaur. Mythosaurs are gigantic creatures native to Mandalore. The Mythosaurs, who were enormous in size, ruled over the planet until Mandalore I slaughtered and exterminated the enormous creatures along with his crusaders. The most notable feature of the Mythosaur was its sheer size, so enormous that accounts estimated to be on par with the scale of a small city. The last scene of the second episode showed us this beast. It was reddish in color, had two large tusks on its cheeks and lower canines that jut out. Judging by the size of its skull and how its body shape is portrayed in other media, it would be around 90 to 100 meters or 300 to 330 feet long. So the second one, the Space Alligator Turtle. This gigantic monster was seen in the first episode of the third season and seems to look like a cross between a giant alligator and a tortoise. It had the broad alligator-like jaws with conical teeth and its limbs were set up in a squatting position similar to squaw matter members of Earth's life forms. It also has a long tail with sharp plate-like osteoderms lining the top of it like a crocodilian. On the back is present a hard shell which is similar to that of a tortoise. This creature was aquatic in nature and was impervious to regular blast of fire. We estimate its size to be around 50 meters or 165 feet long. So the third one, the Biodroid Cyborg. This one isn't really an organic monster nor is it a robot or a droid as in the case of the Star Wars nomenclature. This thing was seen in the second episode of the third season as it traps and captures Din Djarin. At first it resembled a crab droid but on closer inspection its parts and overall appearance was too steampunk to be one. It was rather just a crude mecha that was piloted by a biodroid that was vaguely humanoid in design with spikes on its backs and had a very skeletal look. This all seems to be just an exoskeleton housing a one-eyed brain that pilots both the humanoid and the crab mechas. Now let's go to the other earlier seasons. At number 4 we have the Crate Dragon. The Greater Crate Dragon are predatory reptiles from Tatooine, a planet in the Outer Rims. These gigantic 100 meters or 330 feet long monsters sink into the shifting dunes swimming under the sands in pursuit of prey to ambush and consume. In The Mandalorian, a huge specimen of this species was discovered and appeared to be serpentine in appearance, all like a dune sandworm but it does possess several pairs of legs beneath its belly to traverse through the sands, although we didn't really see the legs. Number 5 we have the Ravenach. This was the first giant monster to be seen in the Mandalorian. The Ravenachs are large creatures that inhabit the frigid planet called Pagodon, swimming underneath the ice. They have two large tusks, a blowhole on the top of their head, and armored like grayish colored skins. The creatures were known to be prevalent around the local port in the planet as crews would often dump their grey holes out, creating a food supply for the carnivores. These ice and aquatic monsters could grow to be over 50 meters or 165 feet in length. Number 6. The Krikna Krikna's are predatory non-sentient spider-like creatures. These six-legged spider-like creatures possess durable skin and they cocoon their prey in underground hives. They also have beak mouths surrounded by a pair of fanged pediplaps. But on the Mandalorian show, they appear to have or possess a circular suction mouth with rows of sharp teeth lining the periphery. They appear to live in a huge hive with hundreds of small younglings as well as larger juveniles but with a presumably Queen Krikna presiding as the leader. The Kriknas here in the show the biggest one was over 6 meters or 20 feet in height alone. Number 7. The Corvus Behemoths These gigantic herbivorous creatures that we call the Corvus Behemoths could be found in the forest world of Corvus which is a planet in the outer rims of the galaxy in the Star Wars universe. They could be observed feeding on upper branches of trees, which they were easily able to reach due to their size. They have a stocky body on four extremely tall giraffe-like legs. They are dark grey-brown in color and have a pair of huge eyes. They would be over 80 feet or 24 meters tall. And number 8, the Mudhorn. Mudhorns are large horned creatures that inhabit Arvala 7, another planet in the outer rims. They have a large horn, flat teeth, and long woolly fur. They are oviparous, laying a single egg per clutch. The egg was huge and was cherished by the Jawas, which they have for dinner. The exterior of the egg was woolly in nature, in the same manner as the skin of the mud horn, and the interior yolk was yellow. So enough about the egg. These mud horns greatly resemble the woolly rhinoceros of Earth's ice ages. They are 3 meters or 10 feet in height, 
and 6 meters or 20 feet long. So those are the giant monsters from the Mandalorian series as of now. So I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. Do hit the like button for support and subscribe but most of all smash that bell icon for regular updates on new videos right here on this channel. Till the next one, take care fam.